is there a success story that you've had over the, the past several years that just, you know, even, even though all the work that you've done and all the things that you've seen that the method has really been able to help people with one that still makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Well, you just even asking the question did that. <laughs> <laughs> and there have been so many, I kind of, I kind of forget because I'm just always thinking of how do I help the next person? But the example I'm going to share with you just happened in the last 12 days. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine's uh, wife had a stroke. She's not even 60 years old. So she had the paralysis of the face. Uh, tongue was all off. Had no feeling in her left arm. No feeling in her left leg. She is left-handed. But most strokes usually typically... Mm -hmm. work on the left hand they didn't get her into the hospital in time to get the tfa injection which really helps with recovery so she was too late for that husband gets a hold of me around 7 7 30 at night and goes my wife had a stroke we're in the hospital can you do anything i'm like oh, oh. i have worked with strokes before and, and gotten up to be able to, and be able to walk i had one that was able to get their speech back and I'm like, well, let's find out. I, I go, don't take this the wrong way, but I am so excited for this opportunity. And he goes, I totally get it. Um, <laughs> so thank, thank God he understood <laughs> where I was coming from. But Michael, it felt like there were bees inside my head. I was just like scratching my head. It was just like, it was just, cause I kind of like go inside the person. And she's talking like the peanuts teacher. Wah, 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 wah. And the husband's kind of translating for me. So I'm telling him kind of like what I'm feeling and what I'm getting and having him do the manual corrections to, uh, and in this case, they happen to be to the head. I think we had one to the maneuverum and sternum. And then I hear her say, I can feel the pressure releasing from my head. And I could understand what she said. And my jaw just hit the floor. I was like, did I just hear that? And he goes, her face now looks symmetrical. There's no droop anymore. And she lifted her left leg three inches off the table. Wow. Wow. And I was just like, okay, I think that's enough for today. Let's check in, you know, tomorrow. Well, I'm going to fast forward the story. So two days later, she sat up in bed on her own. She got out of bed and with a walker, walked down the hall, asked if she could use the toilet. She was able to use the toilet on her own. Ugh. And the doctors are, you know, they're doing like CAT scans and all this other stuff. And they're like, we don't understand how you are progressing so quickly. That's Four days later, she gets released from the hospital. She has full range of motion in her left arm. And she signed the release paper with her left hand, and it was legible. Later that evening, I got to FaceTime with her and had a normal conversation like you and I are having. That's amazing. And I'm just going, wow. It's like, I, I tell people, voila is what I do. It's what I teach. I am a student of it. As you can, I, I got no words. <laughs> well, we're now even because I may have made the hair on your arm stand up, but you made the hair all over me stand up. So 